Hey, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to stream your Xbox One to a Windows PC. So before we continue, just a few important things to keep in mind is that both your systems, your PC and your Xbox One, should be fully updated with the latest operating system updates. Um, so make sure you do that. Uh, that's really important for this to work. The other thing to keep in mind is that some of the steps you might see here are a little bit different from what you might notice on your Xbox One console. The reason being is because a lot of the information online is incorrect. Some of the guides and steps are incorrect, including Microsoft documentation being wrong. Uh, Microsoft documentation is wrong, whereas Xbox documentation have completely different steps which are correct. So even Microsoft can't get it right. So that's why it's imperative that you make sure your Windows computer and your Xbox One are fully updated. With that said, what we're gonna do is hit the Xbox button on your remote, which will bring up the uh, Xbox pop-up menu, open the system settings menu, and then go to devices and connections. Just keep in mind that this is where a lot of the steps are different online. So if yours looks different from mine, chances are you're not fully updated with your console. Be sure to go back and update your console and continue on. Select remote features and ensure that enable remote features is checked. Um, if it is not, you'll go through a kind of a testing process. You might even be told that your Xbox controller needs an update. So go ahead and do all those updates and good stuff. And then uh, you'll continue on back to the regular screen that was just on. So when you get back to the screen, you have a few things you can choose, but what I recommend you do and focus on is go to power mode. And what you want to make sure is that it's instant on is available. This basically means that you can turn a, immediately turn on your console from your Windows PC, kind of wake it up from a sleep mode if you want to. It's very convenient, uh, so definitely make sure to turn that on. Also turn on Xbox app preferences and make sure that allow connections from any device is checked. So basically any device that you use in your uh, home network, for example, say any, maybe you have multiple PCs, will allow you to connect and use your Xbox streaming. Okay, so the next thing to do is get the computer ready for uh, your Xbox streaming. But in order to do this, you must have an Xbox controller paired with your PC. So if you only have one controller, you have to disconnect the pairing from your Xbox One console and then repair it with your PC. It's annoying, but unfortunately that's what's required. You can't even navigate the Xbox menu, unfortunately, so it is what it is. So what you need to do is while your Xbox controller is on, press and hold the sync button at the top of the controller for about three seconds and the Xbox light will start to flash, which means it's in pairing mode. So going over to computer, what you're gonna do is hit the Windows button at the bottom left corner of your screen and start typing in Bluetooth and then open Bluetooth in other device settings. From here, you wanna hit add Bluetooth or other device at the top of the screen. And in this pop-up, you're gonna ignore everything and hit Bluetooth yet again. From here, you're gonna see your Xbox controller eventually get listed. You're gonna select it, and within a few seconds, it should immediately pair with your PC, and now you're good to go with the Xbox app. So once again, you're gonna hit the Windows button in the bottom left corner of your screen, and just start typing in Xbox. You wanna open up the Xbox console companion app. So once that's done, you're gonna get a whole bunch of pop-ups of random stuff we don't, re we don't really care about at this moment. And on the left side, you're gonna see kind of a tiny console icon near the bottom of this list, you're gonna click on that and then you should see your Xbox consoles listed here in case you have more than one, but I only have one, so I'm gonna tap on it with connect. What I notice is that every time I hit connect, it fails the first time. If I hit connect again, it always works just fine. Not sure if that's a Windows bug, probably is. Then you're gonna hit stream and that's it. Your Xbox One console should appear and that's it. You're ready to use remote uh, connection and streaming as I'm using my Xbox controller to now control my console remotely. If you need to pair your controller back to your Xbox console, it's pretty easy. Just press and hold the sync button on the top of the controller once again for about three seconds. And on your Xbox console, walk over to it and press and hold the sync button on it. And within a few seconds, your controller and console will sync automatically and you're good to go. And that's pretty much it for me. So if you found this video useful, be sure to check out my social links in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.